With the what? The fam. Kind of like you said, with the spin. Okay, um, so we gotta do just pauses for one, two, three. So. Yep. Alright, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna turn the sound off of the thing. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. Innovation. Mm. Nintendo. No. Uh, 2016. No. Well, they've, they've downgraded from the last part. Shut up. <laughs> um, welcome back to TBD. Um, which stands for. Um, terminology. Basilisk. No, sorry, sorry. Um, colon, basilisk. Division. That sounds like a really good video game. Terminology, basilisk, division. <laughs> um, in case you don't know who this is, this is Will. I'm Will. Yeah. I have a beanie on. And I am Matt. And Matt does not have a beanie on, but Matt has red wine. I have red wine and an inferiority complex, but that's not the point. <laughs> Um, so when we last left our hero, he was in... Well, when we last left our hero, we were exactly here. Yep. And then we forgot to save. Oh, yeah. So, me and Matt ended up back on Tetra's, um... Pirate ship. Pirate ship before you have to do the platform leaping bit. Yep. So, we've had to do that and get back to here in the Forsaken Fortress so we can continue on with the level. That, that, that took us at least... Five minutes? Ah. Oh. Yeah, totally. Five. Three days. Three Ma days. Maybe six minutes, you know? We're just that good. And that's why <laughs> we've been on a hiatus for the past month. Yeah. That's exactly why. Um, so now we have found a door. And we are going to go through it. Yep. I wonder if I drop my sword if I go through it. Oh, I wanted to keep my big machete. Okay. I think you have a big machete. Oh, thanks, babe. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, something's happening. Side burns. You're not Tabascus. On the side of my face. Hey, Matt. Mm. It's Errol. Yes, yes it is. I wonder if she has any lines. I don't think she does. Damn. Ah, the architect! Aha! We meet again, architect. Why is what your are you doing in my poorly constructed castle? Why is your mouth blue? But we got it, and um, that is the entire end of the game. Tragic ending. Yep. Turns out that this game ends with Link getting eaten by the architect. Yep. Yep. Such a shame. That's game. Game over. Damn shame. You know who they should add to Smash Bros? The architect. Yeah. <laughs> I really should, actually. That'd be pretty good. And who was the last character they added? Because I know they added Cloud. No, they've added more since then. Um, like they added Bayonetta. Did they? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I was on my 3DS the other, well, my 2DS the other day, and there was a thing saying, Bayonetta, buy her now. And I was like, ooh. I might go buy all the new Smash characters. We're getting obviously a shit ton of money from doing this. Oh, yeah. We're going to be millionaires in seconds. <laughs> Fight me in the real life. Uh, as you can see, Priscilla is in the room being a shit lord. Yeah, shitting on our dreams, as always! Yep. <laughs> love me! To be fair. <laughs> okay, and now... Okay. Is this... This is it. Yeah, he Tywin. Tywin. You wake up, asshole. <laughs> Hey, hey, pull yourself together, asshole. Is that his name now? Just asshole. Every time. <laughs> At least to the King of Red Lions it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm on a boat, motherfucker, take a look at me. We need to make an edited version of, like, all of the spit of, like, all of the sailing bits. <laughs> yeah. To that song. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. <laughs> made everything better. Did I startle you? Uh, I suppose it's only natural. As wide as the world is, I'm the only boat upon it who can speak the words in men. Why are you doing this? Because the King of Red Lions is Ray Romano. So in that case, what is he actually going to say here? 
I am Ray Romano. Do not fear. I'm just a celebrity. <laughs> Tywin, <clears throat> you must help me bring back my career. It's been dwindling over the last few years. And in return, I will help you rescue your sister. <laughs> I understand your desire to protect your sister. To give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. Uh, such a bold attempt. It's foolhardy. I suppose you saw him? The shadow that commands that monstrous bird? I mean the architect. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness. How did Ray Romano's acting career ever fall? I don't know. Maybe because he sounds like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> You're gonna get sued. <laughs> By Ray Romano? You think he knows how to use the internet? <laughs> like, 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 we check this video, like, in three months from now. Ray Romano liked this video. <laughs> in the comments, I was trying to sue you. <laughs> Someone's going to make an account called Ray Romano and just put that in there now. Oh, yeah. It was ultimately sealed away by, a very, by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of, of the Dark Realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again threatened by his evil magic. Also, that asshole ruined my career! <laughs> Seems to get. And you will do anything to save her? What? First things first. Your career? We get Everybody Loves Raymond back on the air! Hang on, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Ray Romano's career is a her? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the first thing that they need to do is get Everybody Loves Raymond back on the air. You heard them, folks. Yep. Get it back on. Let, let, let's fund it. Come let's on. crowdsource that and get it as a new Netflix series. Everybody loves Raymond. Can, can I quit? You're the CEO. Can I quit? You're the CEO. You can't quit. Just press the green Let's button. See. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Can you can you actually imagine like a legitimate? I'm series? just imagining that his head was like literally replaced with the actual face of Ray Romano. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But can you picture? Just, just, just running around like doing adventuring stuff and like, or you're a knight. Picture you're a knight mm -hmm. in the Middle Ages. Yep. And you come back from a hard battle and Ray Romano is your squire. <laughs> oh, that's great. And he just starts criticizing everything you did in the battle. Just like, you swung that sword pretty gaily. <laughs> what do you mean, gaily? <laughs> we're happy. <laughs> you were pretty happy about yeah. it. I mean, come on, man. You were killing people. That's not on. At least try to show some sympathy for your widows. We're at war! Yeah, but you're an asshole. <laughs> Thank you, this is your deserve to just skip that part. Yeah. Do you understand? You, you do realize that, like, we've yes. done eight minutes of this video already, and we're still in the first cutscene. Yep. In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me, but... I have herpes. Although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I am impotent. <laughs> I mean, I have no sail! <laughs> go, go, a boat go. with no sail uh, can sail no seas. <laughs> the question is, though, he can't sail, so how did he bring Link? To I, this island. Actually, what's actually also just, just when he says, "I've brought you far to the east." Look where the Forsaken Fortress is. Look where Windfall Island is. I mean, yes, it's east, but it's not far to the east. It is for a boat with no sail. <laughs> 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 he 
He doesn't even have pedals. He just has to go on the sheer power of Ray Romano's voice. It's a lot of power. <laughs> what? No. I know how it works. You know how giraffes bend their heads to each other? I think he's got rows with his head. You heard it, heard it here. Heard, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You heard it here first, folks. He this rose one. with his head. <laughs> this one time. I had a friend, and her name was Georgia. And then Georgia shaved her dog. And then the dog's hair was really short. It was about as a cool story as the one you just told. It was great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're on Windfall. But seriously, like, you look at his face, he kind of, well, not like that though. He kind of reminds me of Christopher Walken. He does a little. What about Christopher Salem? Oh, just die. Yeah. <laughs> a shiver just actually went down my spine when you took my beanie off. <laughs> yes. What's happening? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not supporting this. What's the matter, mister? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something weird like that? Because well, I mean, we're not! We're totally not! Well, for one, look at your eyebrows. <laughs> Just like off to the side and like yeah. completely angled like this. What the fuck is wrong with you? Also, pigtails don't stick up. Yeah. They... She's definitely an alien. Yep, yeah, definitely. <laughs> what? We're good girls. Don't spread rumors. I bet she's a slut. She's a dirty, filthy slut. You can have your beanie back now. It looks ridiculous on me. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, guys. Just more important business to take care oh, of. Hell yes. All right, and we got more pigs, Matt. Pigs. We can't put them anywhere, Will. Damn it! Go away. Did you just say that they were the little tipsters? Yes. Oh my god, they're like the hipsters. But with tea. With teas. Wait. I found a pig, Matt. Alright, go on. Onward! It. Trade it! For what? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Trade it! Throw it into the ocean! To the ocean with you! Farewell, pig! <laughs> I'm a bad person. You just killed a pig. I'll never forgive myself. You just killed a pig! I'll never forgive myself. Jump I, into the ocean. I need any way you can I forgive need, yourself. I need a timeout. Well, this concludes this episode of TVD. We're only 12 minutes in. We've got time. I, I want to see if we can get like a full view of this island. From somewhere. Um, I'm thinking... Um, no, there's no lighthouse. There's... The bomb shop, I guess. You probably... Probably your best bet is the bomb shop, yeah. Mm. Can you get behind the bomb shop? The cell? Yeah, you can. I think you can, yeah. Because it, I've played this game a bit, and it's a very pretty island. Can I sign it? There we go. Sidal. Sidal! Alright, and he looks so suspicious when he's sidling. He looks Asian when he's sidling. <laughs> that's not wrong. <laughs> it's also racist, but that's- OH SHIT! I reside to my fate. <laughs> Are you just gonna drown? I'm done. Up to adventure! <laughs> to adventure! Space Adventure Legend Quest! You notice that whenever you're playing, we get nothing done? <laughs> to be fair, we we're going to go behind. Oh, we get a full view. Oh, totally worth it, actually. That worked! That was That's a sexy island. It is! We right. may have just died a little you, bit. You died, give me the controller. <laughs> Alright, take the controller. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. All I don't right. want to play. Actually, I'm actually gonna... Yeah. Fuck you, Matt! Not now. Maybe later, if you're lucky. Ooh. It's not your birthday. Well... <laughs> settle down now. <laughs> I found a wallet. I am a wallet. That's... That's a beautiful sentiment. I'm just filled with money. And identification. Yeah. Oh, it's Tangle! <laughs> Tangle! Why is he wearing red underwear? 
Why not? Don't judge Tingle. Tingle's like the best character. Oh my god. What? I know what we're using that voice for. Tingle? Tingle. It's Tingle's voice. But you're not going to talk to Tingle? <laughs> no. That's what I think about your wallet, Matt. I'm going to make you wait, Will. Ah! Uh, oh my god, it's Elvis! No, no. <laughs> I want you nice to sit work. there and think about what you did, Matt. I... okay, I'm thinking. Now what? Why would you do that? Why not? How did that benefit you? It didn't. What's your point? Damn it, Matt. I win again. What is she looking for? No, I don't want to speak to you! Did you know there's an island a little to the east of here called Dragon Roost Island? Why are you standing here telling people that? Folks say the island is home to attract people who dance in the skies like birds on the wind. They call themselves the Rito. And they say a sky spirit lives nearby. But to someone like me, a person who never who has never left this little island, it may seem like a fairy tale out of a child's book. Oh, if only I had my own boat. You just like walk away and she keeps talking, turns out she wasn't talking to you at all. And she just stands there and says that over and over. Oh wait, this is a game, of course. She says that over and over again. <laughs> well, I see I can attack very effectively. Alright, I think we're just going to skip over Windfall Island entirely. There's a lot to do here, but... There is, but like... We've got to at least get the sail. Not a lot to do with, like, I mean, there's a lot to do, but not a lot to do immediately. Yeah, get the sail. Am I s do you want to come up with a voice? Something Russian. <laughs> My story is a strange one. Is that just Ray Romano, but Russian? I came across cursed sea from a land far away. Is this racist? A land where blizzards blow violently. This is a bit racist. Heading for this town called Windfall. This is very racist. Dear me, my ship is torn apart by vicious winds. And this island is where I washed the shore. There was one person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say, I ate him. <laughs> We were already at the island, but I was hungry. Anyway, <laughs> needless to say, I'm really worried about it. <laughs> I ate his legs. I mean, he's fucked. <laughs> Would you be? Oh, for fuck's sake! They've changed it a little, so I have to rescue Tingle before. I can do that. No! I just Why? love how I'm talking about how he ate his friend. And then he's like, I'm really worried. <laughs> I hate you, Will. I hate you so much. How do I risk you tingle again? I've actually forgotten. You open the door. I'm pretty sure that's not it. I'm pretty sure you have to open I'm the door to get him sure out of jail. That's all we have to do, yeah. Is there a button in here or do you have to go to a different place to get rid Pretty sure we can just open the door. Is it not Actually, like Actually, no, Tingle will probably tell us if I talk to him. Maybe. Oh no. Or there's a button on the floor. It could be a button. On the other side. There's pots on the other side. I know, I'm gonna shut up all the pots. Matt, why? Well, why not? We need 17 and a half good reasons. With profits like that, you'd be mad not to. Found <laughs> <Can't> button, though. <well. laughs> The doors in this game have a very so uh, sophisticated mechanism behind them, don't they? Like, it's not just doors that you can open with a key uh, or anything. They've got, like, buttons that, like, are pressure plates that, like, obviously work underground mechanisms and shit. Well, he's speaking. <laughs> You've been waiting for this for how many episodes? I've been waiting. Hooray! <laughs> Go on! I hate you! You suggested it! 
So, um... <laughs> for anyone... I'm done. For anyone who doesn't understand, Matt <laughs> tried to do a Let's Play... I don't know how long ago it was. It was about a, year, a year and a half ago. About a year and a half of go, uh, ago of this game. <laughs> and the voice that they're trying to do for Tingle Mao was the voice that they used for Errol. Well, has wanted me to do this voice since, since day, day one. one. Since day one. <laughs> since day one. Please keep going. I honestly don't think I can right now. I'm losing my shit, Will. I'm losing my shit, Will. <laughs> Oh, I creamed a little. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, seam now. Yeah, seam me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Next time on TBD. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>